Hello, and welcome to this lesson, which will show you how to apply the MEC principle. This is a tool you can use to help structure problems in a clearly distinguishable way to ensure that no relevant part is left out. After you have finished this training, you will be able to firstly, learn what MEC is, and secondly, learn how to apply it using some case study examples. To begin with, let's look at the meaning of MEC. The term MEC is an acronym for Mutually Exclusive, Collectively Exhaustive. It is a very thorough and efficient way of organizing information when you are problem solving, because the information is placed into groupings of similar ideas, themes or solutions. Mutually exclusive means that any element can be placed into one and only one bucket with no overlapping components. For example, groups of employees born in different years. Here the segmentation is mutually exclusive because an employee cannot belong to two different age groups. If you come up with an element that could potentially go into more than one bucket, your approach is not MISI. This way of organizing information means you are forced to consider the details. In other words, seeing the individual tree as opposed to the forest. Collectively exhaustive means that your bucket should include all relevant elements. For example, every employee in an organization might belong to an age group born between 1900 and 2000. If you come up with an element that does not fit into any of your buckets, your approach is not me see. This way of organizing information means you are required to be innovative, seeing the forest as opposed to its individual trees. You can apply the me see principle in many situations. Firstly, when framing a problem, to ensure that you tackle all relevant but clearly distinguishable issues and shed light on every relevant aspect of the problem. Secondly, when collecting data, to ensure you avoid collecting data twice and address all relevant data sources and data points. Thirdly, when conducting analysis, to conduct the data groups. And fourthly, when communicating in a focused, stringent manner and giving your audience all the information that is relevant to the problem at hand. Framing the problem is often one of the hardest parts to be me see, and there is no one size fits all approach. Rather, you can use industry frameworks to help you be me see, and these frameworks can be customized to fit the problem you face such as an industry value chain, industry structure, marketing frameworks, and profit driver trees. Some of these frameworks are process orientated and consist of different steps, such as the value chain, whereas other frameworks are more structural and consist of different elements, such as an organization's business unit portfolio. Ultimately, the frameworks should help you structure the situation and drive the thinking process forward. They can help to illustrate the current problem context as you understand it and make it easier to check if your team and peers are on board. Here is an example of a process-orientated framework, a value chain for the insurance industry. This way of organizing information helps ensure you are considering all the process steps. And here is an example of a structural framework, a profit and loss waterfall for the insurance industry. This way of organizing information helps ensure you are considering all the different structural elements. Now let's take a closer look at the insurance industry to help us frame a problem and identify the drivers that will answer the key question. Consider the market context as shown in the slide and take some time to reflect on the key question management is grappling with, which is how to become the market leader in revenue and profit for car insurance, 
in an emerging market. Given the market context and the goal of the organization to become market leader, which set of dimensions would you look at to frame the problem and be MISI? Take some time to reflect on the options presented in the slide. Option B contains the most appropriate set of dimensions. GDP growth, the number of agents, marketing packages and investment income all relate to top-line revenue growth and operational costs and claims management relate to costs and changes in profitability. By focusing on the key dimensions, you can quickly build a market driver tree that is MISI and one that will help you answer the problem as shown in the slide. Sketching this out on a whiteboard helps, perhaps with the help of colleagues, to see how the pieces fit together. Once you have taken time to drill down and analyse the issues, it should be possible to identify the root drivers of the key question. From the pyramid tree on the slide, you can see that the company in our example may become a market leader if it focuses on the elements in red and green. These are the priority areas to be addressed by the organisation to answer the key question. Now let's take another example of how to apply MISI across the four main problem-solving situations I mentioned earlier. Consider the example shown in the slide and take some time to reflect on the key MISI tasks to be completed, from framing the problem through to communication. We'll consider each of these tasks in turn. When framing the problem, ensure you apply the MISI principle to capture all relevant potential drivers which will help you identify the root causes of the problem. In our example, we know that the subsequent analysis has identified two possible drivers to maintain double-digit profitability. Introduce new products and shrink number of outlets. To understand which new products to introduce, you decide to run a survey to better understand new customer needs. To be MISI, structure your survey in a way so that categories don't overlap. For example, group all questions about quality in the quality section and add separate questions within each category to ensure all relevant issues are covered. To better understand how to shrink the number of outlets, you decide to review the profitability of each outlet to identify those outlets with a negative profitability. To be MISI, you need to review your worksheet to ensure that each outlet shows up just once and that no outlet is missed. And finally, to draft a communication that is MISI, ensure the executive summary includes all you want to say in one slide, with all relevant issues identified and no overlapping suggestions. In summary, MISI is a very thorough and efficient way of organising information when you are problem solving because it ensures you are considering elements only once and introducing all the elements relevant to the problem at hand. MISI can be applied in four main situations, including when you are framing the problem, when collecting data, when conducting analysis, and when communicating your insights. Thank you for participating, and see you next time on another exciting business training lesson from Pontema.